What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of My Hero Academia. Season 6, episode 24, A Woman's Declaration, I think was the title of the episode? Ah, uh, I forgot. Something like that. And uh, I know a lot of you last week were telling me this one will be a tearjerker as well. I'm trying not to let that, you know, mess with me too much. So like, I don't want to get my expectations too high, but we'll see. I'm really happy though, because a lot of you said that this is going to be like Ochako's episode. There was some debate. There was some debate going on on whether, you know, like she's going to get more screen time and more development and blah, blah, blah. And, and some people were like, yeah, that's the case. And like, not really. So maybe we'll see. Um, I guess, you know, I'll make my own, um, opinions or my, my own judgments here, but, um, I do agree real quick, get this out of the way. I do feel like a lot of these characters still need a lot of development. I think they did a good job with Midoriya and Bakugo and Todoroki and Dever. Just not, the rest of the students not really though. I feel like it's not their fault they didn't get a lot of screen time, you know, but that's a lot of people to give screen time to and time to dedicate to, you know, their, their arcs or stories. Like when you have a lot of characters, that's kind of just the downside of it all. So that's my opinion. Yes, I do think that she, if we're just talking about her, yes, could use some development, but I think she's gotten more than most, though. She's got some. <laughs> I'm just excited to get more. So, yeah, anyway, um, it's going to be tough because they brought Midoriya back here and no one wants him here. I mean, you see them all, like, rioting at the gate about it, but, um... I already talked about how I felt about it last time, so if you're curious, go back and watch my other reaction if you're new. Um, if you're new, welcome. But, um, yeah, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough, and it, it's just complicated all around. So, uh, yeah, anyway, let's jump into the reaction, guys. It can move? Oh. Wow. They made changes all right. Oh. Mm. Nezu, nice job. Wow. Buys you time. Oh, you better hope that no one finds out about this. You better hope there's no mole right now. <sighs> nah, I know. Toga's not. Okay. Oh, wait! Wait, sorry. I was talking over that. I'll go back. But, question. Because my memory is god awful but remember when they were talking about a mole did they ever figure out who that was was that toga i mean she was pretending to be this student but how would she get all that information on ua i don't remember that they probably wrapped that story arc up but i can't remember it anyway i was just saying that as a joke but then i started to get in my own head i'm like wait but anyway if they were to get access to this information somehow though that would not be good i mean they gotta just figure out where you're being sent to and then <laughs> meet you there but yeah anyway what did you just say like Shiketsu Academy, which increases defenses after the imposter incident. Yeah. Hang on. Two places that. Uh, yep, yeah, so that's. Okay, so they'd be going to Shiketsu. Wow. So you're saying as insanely, like, in depth as he went to make this whole thing. So, as good as this security system is, defense system, whatever, other schools have it better? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. Yeah, because they separate, so I would, that's smart. Mm. 
Oh, Chaco! I just love that determination on her face. Like, you're not going anywhere. You're staying here with us. You deserve to be here. You have a right to be here. Oh, I'm just, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm so, like, defensive of him, and I understand where they're coming from, but, like, I feel like Mama Bear right now, where I just want to tell them, if you don't feel safe here, leave. Bye. Like, ah, I'm sorry, but I just, I just, like, he's been through so much. Like, can he not just have this, please? Like, oh, I just feel for the kid. Like, I just want to give him a hug. Ugh. Anyway, but, I mean, I would, you could, uh, to give them peace of mind, maybe, like, share a little bit of that no not all of it but maybe a little bit of like how confident you are that mm, share that you're confident but maybe explain like why you're so confident you can protect them with him here um uh but then i, I again like i'm just so hesitant of like I, I don't want him to tell them anything because you just don't know who you can trust you know what i mean you never know What? Fuck off. Oh. Koda. This guy looks like a fucking titan. He looks like the beast titan. Mm. Yep. Mm, he's frustrated that they failed. That's true, he's your best bet. You can't have him out there exhausting himself to the point of dying. Then you're really fucked. Is this defense system? Is <laughs> oh, I remember him from the first episode in the crowd when the villain attacked. I think. Oh no, wait, man, when the hero, no, the tree guy, the tree guy. I forgot his fucking name. That's right. <laughs> They got me again. He's been so overwhelmed. He's been trying to put on that top act. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine, but he's not. He needs to rest too. He hurts too. He bleeds too. He's just like you. <laughs> Finally, someone gave him a hug. He's just a man at the end of the day. And it's not for money, they're doing it because they want to help, right? That's like they're the best of them. But 
Look at him in his fucking All Might shirt talking all this shit. I'm sorry, but like, come on, man. I know it's because they're scared, but you... Some empathy would be nice. He can't promise that. But he does anyway. <laughs> He's such a hero. <laughs> he makes a promise he might not even be able to keep because it's what they need to hear right now. <laughs> I'm starting to cry again. Just seeing them all together, like, I don't know if that's what's actually happening right now, but, ugh, he just looks so tired. You look badass. <laughs> oh, that's smart. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Papa Bear. <laughs> He's trying to protect him in any way he can. If he can't protect him from the villains, then at least he can protect him from the hate, right? Or try to. He can't even protect him from himself. This poor kid. Always throwing himself into danger for everyone else. Oh, this fucker! You keep teasing me with this! That's what's it's gonna happen next season, I know. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's killing me. Alright, let me make sure. There's been a couple times recently where, like, I think it's over and then there's an after credit scene. I don't even know, man. Uh, where do I start? Okay, so, honestly, I don't know. I don't think my review will be that long. But, um, last week I was way worse. Way worse! But, this week I kept it together. <laughs> For the most part. <laughs> um, I feel like Nezu, what he said was so true. You know, it that the hard step is it's the step where you try you try to put yourself in the other person's shoes the step towards understanding you know it is hard to put yourself in a in another person's shoes when you're scared i get that but when you're seeing it like in real time you're you're watching how like fear how that can kind of manifest and make you act in ways that maybe looking back on it later you wouldn't be so proud of it's just tough to watch it's just tough to watch people who are i get it scared but like he's so unable to put themselves in his shoes where they're like look at this kid he's like what is he 16 i don't know 16 i'm just gonna say 16 17 whatever he's still a first year though right so is he 15 Ooh, I don't know, actually. It might be 15, so. Anyway. Oh, no, but wait. High school's different in Japan, isn't it? So he might be 16. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's probably 16. 16. So, he's a 16-year-old kid who's out there trying to take on the world's greatest villain and pretty much doing it alone. Because, honestly, best genius talks endeavor they really weren't contributing much so 
Um, he's out there pretty much doing it alone. He's never resting. I mean, you see how battered he is. Like, this kid needs a break. Because like Nezu said, he's your best bet at beating all for one. But like, you're pretty much telling him like, your safety matters more, your health matters more. Like, your peace of mind matters more than his. Why? Because he took on that responsibility of being a hero. He is doing it by choice, right? He doesn't have to protect you. So like, I feel like the least you could do is extend a little bit of kindness because he's doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Like, the, the guy who spoke up is like, all these heroes, there's no fame in it. There's no money in it for them anymore. Like, they quit. A lot of them quit. That kind of shows you, I think, a lot of, the, you know, a person's character. If there's no fame in it, there's no money in it, then what reasons are left for them to do it other than duty or feeling like it's the right thing to do, wanting to protect people? Like, really honorable, really honorable traits and reasons to be doing this. They're an honorable person in my eyes. Um, inspiring. I mean, like, just so good. Like, and yet you can't even extend a little bit of kindness, empathy. Like, just a little empathy would go such a long way. God, it really feels like there's like a fuzzy on my face. Anyway, so... <laughs> Sorry, it's distracting me from my train of thought because my face is itchy. Um, it's just like, man, like, it's tough to watch. He didn't want to come back here in the first place. He knew, no, he probably didn't know they were going to act like that, but he put a lot of this burden on himself, you know? he He's like, this is my responsibility, like, no matter how hard it is for me, like, can't rest no time for that. They're going to get stronger. He's putting the weight of the world on his shoulders, and... When he asked for this power, I mean, he didn't know that it was going to turn out like this. He did not know that he had this, like, childlike, innocent dream of, I'll be the world's greatest hero, but he had no idea that, like, literally the weight of the world, it depended on him. He didn't know that. And it's so he took on this giant burden without this power, without really knowing what he was getting himself into, and yet every step of the way, he still is, like, trucking along like he keeps going he's staying strong as hard as it is for him too he's not he's not opening up about it he's just he keeps burying it burying it burying it nope this is my responsibility this is my burden like I i'm just i'm just proud of him i'm just so immensely proud of him and just to see how upset he is how much he's beating himself up how much he probably hates himself and to see other people just piling on top of that was just so hard for me to watch. It was, it was so hard. It was like, he's beating himself up enough already. Like, please, he does not need you to do it for him. Please stop. And I like how she kind of called him out. Like, just because he has a special power doesn't make him a special person. Just like you want us to care about your feelings and keep you safe and, you know... Why can't we extend the same thing to him? Why doesn't he deserve just as much? A safe place to stay. A warm meal. A nice bed. Like, people around him who care about him. Like, I just thought it was so hypocritical of them to say all of that. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was really bothering me. So I like how she kind of like, Stop looking at him like he's a god. He's not. He's a man. He, he has neighbors just like you. We are your neighbors. Like, yeah, we have a special power, sure, but that doesn't make us special. Like, I know I've said it a million times, but he, he hurts physically and mentally, too. Like, he has feelings. Like, he can't, and he's, he is a man. Like, eventually, like, he can't take all of this forever. He's going to break. He might die. Or he might mentally break. Then what are you going to do when he just he 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 just keeps going so long that he just breaks mentally and like then he can't he he, just, he can't function or he can't like he's just not mentally strong enough anymore to take on Shikaraki. You know what I mean? And then what are you going to do? Please don't push him to his fucking breaking point because then you are fucked. You want to make this big fuss about, 
what about us? You said we'd be safe here. And if you really don't want him here, then leave. Get the fuck out. <laughs> don't let the door hit you on the way out. I'm sorry. But like, we have every right to accept anyone we want here. If you don't like it, we won't force you to leave. But you don't like it, no one's forcing you to stay. Okay? Bye. <laughs> like, maybe they are. Maybe they are going to force them to leave. I don't know. All Might said he's going to go talk to them. The anti-hero faction? Whatever. I don't know. So, I don't know. I don't know if he was talking about, but he was driving somewhere. So was he on his way back to UA? I don't know where he's going. And then you got Stain to worry about. Oh, man. I was I was thinking he was talking about people at UA, but then I'm like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. But maybe he's talking about the people in the city. So, yeah, I don't know. The people there that don't want him there, I can't remember if they said, or maybe they did, maybe they didn't. You let me know in the comments. Or maybe, I just don't remember what they said. Um, but I know they said there were people there that didn't accept him. Didn't want him there. But did they leave? Or, like, where did they go? I don't know. What... Mm, curious. Um, man, is there anything else to say about it? <laughs> Stain, which I feel like they're probably going to tease that a little bit more next week. But hopefully next week you kind of get to see, I don't know, him, like, getting something to eat. Just hanging out with his friends. Just having a normal moment. Just, I would love to see him just, which he kind of did, I think, in the end of the episode where he just kind of collapsed on the ground and Coda comes up and that girl, I don't know her name. And they, they're they like saying, like, pretty much, we appreciate, she says, I appreciate what you did, you know, and she gets, like, now she finally gets the opportunity to, like, thank him and just, I don't know, it was, I think it, for a while, you know, he was out there saving people without so much as a thank you. And just like, they're running away in fear of him. And it's just like, he wants to save people and put a smile on their face. Like, not them running away in fear. Like, he, I don't know. It's just been kind of, I don't know, cold. The, 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 um, the way he's been received. Or the the way, yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Um, and I think it was just really nice to see a little bit of warmth, you know? Like, the, he, he collapses to the ground, they're hugging him, and they're just kind of supporting him, like helping him up. I don't know, it was nice. It was nice to see. Like, in the end, they were able to take that hard step. And, um... It was thanks to Ochako, you know, leading the charge. And um, I'm just hoping that, I know it's still going to be a transition, a tough transition, but I'm hoping that, you know, <sighs> I don't know. I just hope, <sighs> I'm trying to think of a really beautiful, elo eloquent way to put it, but I just want him to be just at ease for a little while. And I hope that the transition of him, you know, coming back to UA, going, just going inside, like, less sturdy looks, maybe not, it's not going to completely go away, but, like, you saw, like, the, one of the one, the main ones speaking up, like, he actually came around with this fucking All My T-shirt, I'd be crazy, um, came around and helped him up, and... Man, a call back to that guy from the first episode. Wow, that takes me back. Oh my god. I think he was standing next to him, to Midoriya, in the first episode when they were watching... I can't remember the guy's name, the tree guy. He was like... He saved the day. I don't know what kind of villain that he took down. I think it was him and Mount Lady that were, like, working together. I can't remember, but... I remember the train and the cherry blossoms, and... Yeah, it was... I remember it. It was just, oh my gosh. Woo! Nostalgic. Um, I still feel like I haven't, like, said what I need to say. I keep beating around the bush. I hope that, like, this, this whole, the transition goes well. I hope it won't be as thorny now. Now that we've had this whole thing and hopefully that they all understand his situation a little bit better. Like, he never 
even got a chance really to speak for himself. That's true. Like this whole time they, they run away or whatever. I mean, they're all forming their own opinions. They're listening to the media. It's like, let the kid speak for himself. Let him give you his side of the story. Uh, let him tell you how tough it's been and how much pressure he's been putting on himself. Like, oh my God. Uh, anyway, okay. I'm being, I'm being really like really wordy right now and I'm talking way too much. I need to stop. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, but yeah, let me know what your guys' takeaway was from the episode. Um, what did I miss? I'm sure I missed something. And, uh, yeah, leave it down in the comments below. But yeah, remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.